Hello! So this is going to be just a quick, short little demonstration, I hope, on how to use columns to make more accessible uh, grade scales in syllabi. So this is a syllabus that I've been granted permission to share and play with for the purposes of the demonstration. And it uses a grading scale. It's a very common format. We've probably all seen it. And often laid out this way, either using a table or, as in the case of this particular example, just using tabs and going line by line. And this works very well for a sighted user, because we very naturally just read the first column down, the second column, move to the third and fourth, it all makes sense. But for someone using a screen reader or other assistive technology, those will read just top to bottom, line by line, across each line. So where we would, uh, so for a sighted user, is going to see 96100, 9495, 9293, and so on. Someone using a screen reader is going to read 96100, 85, 75, 76, 65, 94, 95, 84, 73, 74, 64, 92, 93, and so on, jumping around. Um, makes it a lot harder to track all the way through. Um, so it's a fairly easy fix, just takes, it just a kind of fix that is easier to demonstrate than to type out. So in this particular case, what we're gonna do is instead of tabbing across or instead of using a table, we're going to set up four columns that the screen reader will then be able to read its way through. To make it a little more clear what I'm doing, I'm going to start by going to the paragraph menu and turning on the paragraph marks. So display looks a little more cluttered, but now you can see the different paragraph markings, the arrows for tabs, just makes it a little more clear what the actual layout of the document is. So for this demonstration, Rather than deleting this table and starting over, what I'm going to do is create the, a, a new grading scale directly underneath this one. So just for a moment, I'm going to start by adding a few extra lines. And we're going to start by going to the Layout tab, and then the Breaks icon here for page and section breaks. We're going to insert a continuous section break. So this tells Word we're starting a new section, but we don't want to start a new page. We're just starting a new section here. So we'll insert that. I can go down a few lines, so I'm going to do that again. So again, a continuous section break. So now we have three sections to our document. In this section, in between the two section breaks, I'm going to come up here to Columns, and it gives me options, one, two, three, left, right. But I'm going to go to More Columns, and then increase the number of columns to four, and hit OK. And you'll see the display changes a little bit, but you'll also see here in the ruler bar that we now have four columns defined. So in this case, I'm going to start just to make them a little more visible and easy. I'm going to call this one column one. And then I go back to my breaks and I insert a column break. It tells Word that, okay, I'm done with that column. I'm moving on to the next one. Column two, another column break. Column three, another column break, column four. So here we are, and now you can see that we have the beginning of the syllabus, which is just a standard uh, single column page. We have this four column section here, and then after the next section break, it continues on with a standard single column uh, section. So now we can go in and we can grab the information uh, grab each of these. I'm going to start with column one, like that. And unfortunately, I can't copy a full column at once. But oops, I have to go line by line. So I'm not going to set up the entire table here. But what I am going to do is copy a few of these. Oops. I need to go to column two. I'll grab the first couple rows from column three. And then I'll do the same thing for column four. Okay. And so here you can see exactly what we've done. Instead of a series of lines with tab breaks that will be read left to right, top to bottom, we now have four distinct columns. In this case, a screen reader knows that the, which order the columns come in, 
And so when the screen reader starts reading, it will read column one, which of course we'd probably delete later on, but we, the screen reader would read um, line by line, but it will go column by column. So it'll read all the way through column one, 96 to 100, 94, 95, 92, 93, down to the end of the column. Then up to column two, it'll read its way down that, column three, and column four. So that allows you to get the same visual layout as this while presenting the information in a way that will be accessible to someone using a screen reader or other assistive technology. Hopefully this demo was not terribly long, not terribly boring, and it's actually helpful. Um, if you do have any questions, uh, if you're here at Highline College, uh, feel free to drop me an email. Um, thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of your day.